Hey, good morning, crew. What is goody good? Man, test day. Oh. I'm, y'all, I'm nervous. Even more nervous than the last test. This is OB. I got an OB test coming in less than an hour. And, um, you know, nerves. I'm sure y'all realize I did not post a video this week uh, because um, I wanted to have a little more uh, content for y'all. It was so much. And it's not, the chapters, the number of chapters were less than the first time, the first test. However, the content was more intense, you know? Y'all. But you know, okay, sera, sera. So, whatever is going to happen for me is going to happen for me. Y'all, I'm recording on my new phone. I have the, I, I bought the iPhone XS Max as a little treat to myself, which I mean, I upgrade every year regardless. But the good thing is, what I'm enjoying about the, uh, the last time I upgraded, I upgraded from the uh, 7 Plus to the 8 Plus. So I didn't really get the uh, the 10. So now, this is almost like a brand new experience because from what I gather, had I had the 10 already, this would be like a minor upgrade. But I'm guessing because I had the, um, this is a weird angle, y'all. Uh, because I had the 8 Plus, it's kind of like a big deal as far as the upgrade. It's a lot, um, the gestures and uh, using the phone and all of that, that's, it's very, it's different. Um, and I have to be, try to be mindful of that because it's not, the, 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 the usage is not the same. Come on, drive, please. Um, how was y'all's weekend? How's school going, y'all? <laughs> Y'all, y'all need to let me know downstairs in the comment section. Let me know how school is going. Um, we're approaching that halfway mark. We're approaching the halfway mark. I feel like there's a quiet storm brewing, brewing um, in school for some reason. Let's see any nuggets that I have. Clinical was great. I finished, uh, I have one more peed, well, one more peed site, but two, it's two days. So I think it's Wednesday and Friday. But it's not a crazy Wednesday and Friday because it's not going to be like sun up to sundown. It's gonna be like the morning, like I think I have to be there at 8.30. Which is nice because if I have to be there at 8.30 and um, if I have to be there at 8.30 it's like 30 minutes away so I could essentially wake I, I could wake up at 8 o'clock I mean not 8 o'clock what am I talking about I could wake up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock and I would be fine <laughs> but knowing me I'll wake up closer to six so maybe like 6 30 wake up at 6 30 which is a blessing because all my clinicals i've been waking up at four and three and you know so this 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 is actually a a welcome um situation you know for me to wake up at only, only at um 6 30 on a clinical day man that's like bomb um i need to look and see when the um next time um my next ob i need to look in my cal calendar because i want to um schedule some fun around it but i need to make sure the fun is not on like the week preceding because that's the week that i generally get all my heart studying but what I'm going to try it, it, because even though I have a P's exam next week um, 
I'm going to try to, um, uh, I'm going to attempt to, tonight when I get off, I'm going to try a new method and see if it works. Um, it may not work, but I'm just going to see. So what I'm going to do is when I get off today, I think we have one or two chapters for OB. I'm going to come right home and read it. Get that out the way, read it. Because I have all Thursday off. So what I, I want to spend Wednesday. So once I read the OB chapter, what's knowing me is probably going to take all day. I'm going to read the chapter, take notes. Because I, what I do is I take notes in class as the uh, professor is talking. But then I'm also going to, you know, I'll take some notes later. Like tonight when I get home. Read the chapter, chill, so it's not so time crunch. And this person stopped so early. Wish me luck down downstairs in the comment section. I like that. Uh, wish me luck down there, and um, let me know how y'all how y'all semester is going thus far. Um, let me know if any of y'all have, you know, any of you pre nursing students, if, if you, any of y'all are uh, studying to get in or if y'all have already gotten in or if you just applied just let me know you know how everything's going so holler me later and i will holler at y'all later peace i know i haven't posted a video and i had all all intention to do so but guys i failed my ob test my second ob test so you know i had to take some time to make sure that I was understanding information and that I was um, I'm good I mean I'm still passing in the class overall so I'm not you know stressed about that after sitting down with my professor and um, remediating so I remediated um, and pretty much you're required to remediate Although I'm glad that I did because um, I'm glad that I did because you know this is let me tell you how I studied for this last exam. This last exam was a bunch of hard stuff, a bunch of easy stuff, you know. And I made the the, the mistake. I made the mistake of studying only. I mean, I, I touched briefly on some of the easier stuff, but in a sense, I neglected it because the when I say the hard stuff was hard stuff, I spent so much time learning the hard stuff and um, focusing on that, that the easy stuff I, it just kind of slipped my mind because I didn't spend enough time with it. Um, you know, we went through the exam and literally every single of the, I guess, more, more challenging, difficult questions I got right and I made stupid mistakes, easy questions that I gave up, you know? Uh, there was a, a, a Pitocin problem and me and my professor are sitting there because I remember doing the Pitocin problem. So me and my professor, we're sitting there and we're sitting there and after, you know, when I'm remediating and literally I'm saying, let me see a pen and paper and let me, and I pull out my phone calculator and I'm literally, I'm doing the problem right there. Why? <laughs> Why did I get the correct answer sitting right there? Um, it was just a, it was just a mistake. Mm -hmm. It was a mistake. I didn't slow down. One of the things I didn't read the question right. And it was another easy point. Everybody knows uh, positioning as it relates to um, pregnant women. Everybody knows positioning. Everybody knows you never put a pregnant woman supine because of the, you know, aorta, um, uh, uh, vena cava. Um, hypotension, you know? Um, it decreases cardiac output. I know that, but I read the question 
what would you not want to do? And I and I and I and, I, and, and instead I read it as what would you do? So I just did. It was something about labor pains, and you know, one of the options was like rocking the hips and all of that. Needless to say, I won't be making those mistakes again. Um, you know, I take full responsibility for my all of my test results. I always take full responsibility. Um, I take full responsibility for every action and decision that I make. I know that I slipped up with not studying, and I, and I was honest. You know what I mean? Um, I was honest with her because a. Regardless of if I'm honest or if I'm not honest, I didn't pass the exam. It was no way I was gonna get, it's not like the points were coming back, you know? At the same time, at the same time, I feel, and y'all know how I feel about failing in exams. Um, I'll put the link up somewhere in the, um, I'll put a card up here. I failed a mass surge exam. It wasn't by much. Same with this um, OB exam. It wasn't by much, but it was enough to, to fail. So, you know, you live and you learn. And the good thing about uh, failing, or I don't want to say failing, because failing sounds so bad. The, 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 the positive, the silver lining in not doing well on an exam is that you you should take that feeling live and dwell in that feeling just for a moment because people say oh you gotta move on yes you need to move on but you also need to remember how you felt when you failed that exam because you'll never want to feel that way again I know I don't want to feel that way again so what am I going to do well I have a P's exam today. Um, once I pass my P's exam, I'm speaking it into existence. Once I pass my P's exam, um, my next OB exam is not until the 14th. Let me make, let me make sure. Let me get my day together. Today is the second. Next week is the 9th, so maybe it's not the 14th, maybe it's after that. But I know I don't have an exam next week, which is good, because it gives me a little more time to hit the books, you know? Um, the material is not like, it's, it's very specialized, OB. So because it's so specialized, I have to make sure that I am, I still am grasping that little, um, I'm still grasping that, that little window, you know, uh, as to what I need um, to focus on with OB. You know, I'm getting there though, because, you know, Right now, where I think we have pain, that's big and that's really important, and like the uh, complications. So, like when I say complications, I'm talking about. Oh, we do have complications as well. We're going over that today, but I mean like uh, disease or conditions that can occur during pregnancy and affect the pregnancy. So, like gestational diabetes and um, eclampsia, and, which all this time I thought eclampsia was just hypertension and it's not it's like so much more um but i digress you guys know how it is i'm just going to keep it moving keep it pushing i've dealt with the exam i've processed the exam and i've had an opportunity to um to to to, to learn from the exam so now i'm moving on I have my p's exam today I feel great, um, got good sleep last night, no allergies. So I'm gonna holler at y'all later. I'm at the point where it's time for me to kind of listen to some music 
why did it take me 10 minutes to get over this way? I mean, I'm looking at my camera and it's nine minutes in filming and I filmed as soon as I left the house. I don't know why it took so long to get over this way. But anyway, I'll let y'all go. I will holler at y'all later. I'm just gonna post all of this stuff together. I know I said that last week, but I really was trying to um, focus on this uh, P's exam. Uh, so forgive me for not posting a video, but I will get I'll get one up this week. Um, that'll have that'll be all of the days. So the, I think three weeks is what I'm missing. But I'll post it today, which probably means next week there won't be a video. But I'll film it. You know, I'll get it filmed. But I'll holler at y'all later. Okay, peace.